not meant to scream. We've got 18. Oh. Oh, what is this? Do I speak too loud? <laughs> I calibrated it perfectly. Okay. I have to really, really speak quietly. I don't even know if the mic's going to pick this up. I'm going to put this really close to my mouth. This should be good, right? Okay. I don't... Oh, God. Okay. I'm scared. So, you're not allowed to scream. And the time only moves if you're moving. So, we have to stay alive. Can I pick this up? No. Wait, are you alive? Okay, you're alive. I'm scared. I'm really scared. I really hope you can hear me without me making like... What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. Let's just be quiet. As quiet as we can. So that you guys can still hear me. But not quiet enough. With a want the monster in the woods to tickle my boot. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, can I calibrate this again? <gasps> uh, <gasps> okay, I've recalibrated it so that it should only pick up when I do gasps or I scream fairly loudly so this should be good this should be okay for the recording and i'm very scared because i don't know when the jump scare is going to come i'm off all the jump scares i i don't think i'm going to go through this whole video without winning i uh, like i'm not going to win what did i do there Is that you on the tree that did that? What, what, what was that thing? What was that microphone thing? Why don't I go for the sound? I think I'll go towards the sound. That's the best thing I can do, right? Why does everything crunch? Okay. It's okay. I'm okay. I hope you guys are okay. I feel like I'm doing an ASMR. I feel like if anyone walks through my door right now, I feel like I might shit myself. I feel like I might shit myself right now. Okay, we're going to be good. This is going to be the quietest video on YouTube. You're going to just hear me do some beautiful ASMR and not get scared. Something's going to pop up in my face and I'm just going to be like, oh, hi, how are you? I hope you're having a nice day. Do you, do you want a kiss? I'll give you a kiss. Mwah. There you go. But there's no, like that lady there, there's no need to shout, my lady. God, I sounded like a Redditor there. I also feel... What was that? I feel like the only type of emotion I can display is facial emotions. Because my voice needs to be in a monotone way and for me to not get a loss. Big red barn in front of us. Oh, a splash of blood. Okay, let's go towards. Mother I don't know what that sound is, but it's making me very uncomfortable. I actually think I'll be quite good at this game because I don't think I naturally Shout when I get scared. I feel like there's no emphasis on my voice. Because if I say a T sound or a P sound, the microphone might go, hey, you lost. And I don't want to do that. Because I am right around the same place or same time that I died last time seeing as there is a barn in front of me. Hopefully this time, we can explore the red jam on the floor. 
Is it raspberry? Is it strawberry? I don't know. What I do know is, I don't want to play this game, because I feel very uncomfortable. What is hanging? Are those dead bodies? Wow, okay. I... I... Do I move? I... I am very uncomfortable at the moment. I don't want to play this game anymore. Oh, okay. Is this the ghost lady inviting me to her house? I hope not, but I will come anyway, because it would be rude not to. Hello, ghost lady. I will walk back where I came from now, even though the game specifies to explore as much as you can. I do not feel comfortable around that house. Now I am very much hoping to beat this game first try. Now I'm not scared. I was in fear that the animals may have gotten hurt. Oh, who am I kidding? I don't know what I was saying. There is something glistening in front of me. Almost like I'm looking into a pond on a moonlit night. Why I'm trying to... Explain it in that form of way. I don't know. I failed English. Or at least English literature. I am all... My heart is racing at about... This is possibly the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. More than... More than my try not to cringe video that I uploaded. Whilst that was hard because they were high and it I didn't scream Oh you piece of shit game I was doing so well oh. Oh. Okay I have lowered the threat threshold by 1%. Hopefully that won't make me peek for no goddamn fucking reason. And I'm also going to go the opposite way that I was going last time so I can explore as much of the place as possible. Would I like a soda? Yes, but the stupid fucking machine doesn't work. 
I can't get anything nice in this game. I'm going into another house. Hopefully this one isn't filled with cannibals. Hello there, Mr. Mittens. Oh, you have hissed at me. Oh, I can go into the house. That's nice. Do I want to stay in the house is the question? No. I think part of me feels safer outside. Part of me definitely feel... Why the fuck am I in here? There is no reason I should be in here. The demon ghost lady will scare me. I hear footsteps behind me. Is that the demon ghost lady? I don't know. Will curiosity get me killed? I think so, because I want... Hello, is there someone in this house? Oh, there is a pumpkin outside staring at me. Whatever type of fucked up dream this person had to make this game very kindly go fuck yourself for making it into a physical game because now it will be because now it will be transferred on to me and I will now have these visceral horrible horror dreams. I, my palms are extremely sweaty. My knees would be weak, but I'm sitting down. My arms would also be heavy, but they're leaning on the desk. I am now going to leave the house. I appreciate I appreciated the hospitality of the nice woman who was in the house. But I must say a big fuck you to her and leave. The one thing I would love to show right now is a single ounce of verbal emotion. But I don't trust doing anything but speaking like this. I can only show... I can only show facial emotion.
I would. My desk. I don't know what it caught. What did it? What? Oh no! Oh, I didn't scream. <laughs> I didn't scream. That's so unfair. That is so so unfair. What? Oh. Should I go again? <sighs> I'm doing it again for you guys. I don't know how long the video is going to be because of how much bullshit I went through already. So hopefully we will cut now to where I was roughly or unless we find something new. This is what we walked by just now. So I will see you guys in a bit. I'm going to shit myself. Okay, I'll carry on from here because that one very nearly got me. I think other than shitting my pants, I did a double wombo combo and shat and pissed them at the same time. And it was a stupid bird. I do feel a lot more confident in my inability, let's say, to scream during horror games. Now sometimes, yes, I do scream at horror games. <laughs> but I'd say for the most part, my innate reaction is to curl up and cry like a little girl. So, maybe there is hope. Maybe. Oh, But we're continuing on from here as well, because I feel like shit is not only going to hit the fan, it's going to go everywhere. That, that shit is not just going to hit the fan, it's going to hit fucking every single space of room that it has to hit. Because who is, who is eating and dropping the wrappers down? That is, that is inexcusable. Just because this is a haunted woods that no one will ever step foot in, doesn't mean we shouldn't respect our ghosts and animals that live here. I am again doing that thing where I talk and can't think of proper words to articulate because I am that scared. Does anyone else get that? Please tell me in the comments below what your innate scared reaction is. As we can see, I am walking... ...down a hill. Which made me think I had walked outside of the map. However, I would like to think that the map extends 18 minutes in all directions. So that does not happen, which would make a lot of sense. Seeing as you don't want someone to fall outside of the map. Now we've... Now, as I was going to say, we have not had a jump scare in a while. But obviously, Grandmother wanted to go for a walk. So, I have either actually walked outside of the map, or we have found our way outside of the woods. Is that better than being in the woods? I'd say that's up for a debate. But now we have found ourselves... Back into the woods. 
And we have found Gollum. Now, shouldn't Gollum be in the Lord of the Rings? He should be. But he somehow has found his way into my game. Which is fine. This might genuinely be the longest nine minutes of my life. Hello. Are you... I was going to ask if she was okay, but she obviously got upset by that, which is completely fine. Everyone gets upset by little things, especially when there's stuff already upsetting them. Oh, it's the dancing Serbian lady, who is now gone. She's probably following right behind me, but I don't turn around. I walk in a linear fashion in order to maximize my chances of winning the game. Okay, game. You can pull whatever shit you want on me. But giving me spiders to deal with is a very big low blow. Because now I, my legs are crossed on my chair. Because I do not want to touch the floor with fear of spiders. If a spider does indeed jump across my screen, I will scream viscerally like a little girl. I feel like <laughs> that's such bullshit because I don't scream. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> it's a cool game, uh, but I feel like I'd have to set like change my whole microphone setup because of it because it's not catching my screams; it's catching like everything else around it, and because of the way my microphone's set up, it's always gonna catch like. I don't know, like, if even if I drag my arms, like, across, like, you can see the bottom there, it, it sometimes uh, peaks, especially if I do, like, a very big reaction. But, yeah, I don't know how, how that's something they'd fix or if it's something I have to fix or whatever, but really, really cool game, really cool concept. It's a bit weird for recording because you have to kind of adapt the way, this is coming from a YouTuber's perspective, um, you kind of have to adapt the way you portray yourself because every YouTuber likes to shout and scream and make jokes But realistically you don't have a lot of space to talk in this game or at least talk in a in a serious or the way you like to talk um, But it's really cool. It's, it's such a weird and cool concept that I can't believe I feel like people have played around with it But no one's maximized it in the way that this game has and it just being a beta I feel like there's a lot of space for it to really mold and turn into something completely different and really just, I don't know, utilize this game to its maximum potential. Because even though I haven't finished it, I, I assume the more you get into it, the more jump scares and stuff there's going to be. But I feel like, for some reason, I feel like there's still more they can do with the game, which really, really excites me. But anyway, really cool game. I was absolutely terrified throughout the whole of it. I, I, I think I did really well not to scream. I, did, I didn't scream the whole time there, but obviously I have to react somehow, so I have to move around and stuff, but... Yeah, really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.